Now that we've installed a pre-configured app from the Podio app marketplace to our sales workspace, it's time to add some information into our app. So I'm in my sales workspace and I've clicked on the leads app. And as we saw in the last video, right now there's no information in here and the app is empty. So let's go ahead and let's add a new lead to see how we can add data and information into our Podio workspace. So over here on the right side of the app, you'll notice there's the big green button that says add lead. And if I click on it, my screen's going to change and I now see all the fields that are part of this lead app for me to fill out. So I can go ahead and I can start filling out a new lead. XYZ company. Now, if the lead was already, if the person was already in my Podio contacts, I could go ahead and just add them automatically without having to create a new contact. But in this case, this contact is not already part of my Podio contacts, so I'm going to click Add a New Contact. And we'll just call this person John Doe. Sales rep. Again, the organization is XYZ Company. And then I could go ahead and I could enter a phone number. And an email address. You'll also notice that if the person had multiple phone numbers or email addresses, you could add those as well. And there's also an option down here to show more fields, which will give you some advanced fields to fill out for this particular contact. So you can add their Skype, they had a web page, an address, and any notes about the particular contact. So once I'm ready, I can hit the Save button. You'll notice that John Doe has now been added to this lead, and it has created a new contact record for John Doe here in Podio. Now I can click to add an owner of this lead, and it has to be a member of this workspace. So I have two members of this workspace, Anton Alexander and Graham O'Meara. So depending on who's going to be handling this account, I can choose who I'd like to be the lead owner. So in this case, I'll choose Graham. I'll say he's going to be the owner. You can see these fields expected total value of lead, the probability of projected possible value. These are all the pre-configured fields that came when we installed this app. Later on in this video series, I'm going to show you how you can create your own fields. Or you might simply want to go in and change the text associated with these fields. So maybe it's not expected total value of lead. Maybe you don't like the wording and you want to change it to projected total value of lead. So you can customize all of these things. But for now, we'll just say that the expected total value of the lead is 20,000 US dollars the probability of projected possible value. So you can see this is a scale field. So I'm not going to actually enter information, but I can drag this scale out, and you'll notice that the percentage changes at the right side of this scale. So you can use this scale feature for all sorts of things. It doesn't have to be the probability of the projected possible value. It could be a project that you're working on, and you can use the scale to show what percentage of the project is already complete. That could be when you build your own custom app, or there's a project apps already in the Podio Apps Marketplace that uses this field as well. Down here, we can choose the status of the lead. So it could be qualified, it could be a cold lead, whichever one applies to this particular lead. And you'll notice that when I click to go to another field, it automatically turns off the field that was previously selected. Now when we create our own app, we could customize this so that we could select multiple items within this field. Now we can choose the next follow-up date for this lead. And I don't know if you remember earlier in this video series, but I mentioned that there's this nice little calendar up here at the top. Well, if we fill out this field that says next follow-up, the date and time that we specify will be automatically added to our calendar. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select June 28th. We could go ahead and enter a, an address, the city, the state, and the zip code for this particular lead, which I'm going to skip over those fields for now. We can even enter an address and it will attach the map automatically for this lead. And then if we had any files associated with the lead, we could upload them. It could be uh, maybe a business card that they sent us and we scanned in. It could be a PDF overview of their company. Really anything that we'd like. 
And then if you want to associate any tags with this league, that would just be a way to organize the lead and make it easier to find. I could maybe put in the industry down here in the tags section. Or if I really want to separate all of my leads based on their industry, later on I could go in and I could customize this app to add a whole new field for industry. So again, everything you see here is just what has automatically been built for us. And at any time in the future, we could go in and we can completely customize this app but I'm pretty happy with how it's working so far, so I'm just going to click the Save button. Now you'll notice it takes me to the completed record. Now that I've saved it, all of this information is available in a format that's a little bit easier to read than the last screen we were at. So we can see who the contact is, who the owner is. You'll notice I could click on this contact to expand it so I can see some more information. At the same time, I could click on Graham to go to Graham's profile. If I go over to these action menus, I have a whole uh, another set of options. I could download this contacts information to a V card if I wanted to import that into another system. And then with Graham, I could go right to Graham's profile. So as we use Podio, we're going to try and connect all of our apps and all of our contacts as much as we can so that it's easy to go from one record in Podio to the next as long as they are associated records. So if I scroll down, I can see all of the information that I added, and I could now go ahead and I could comment on this particular lead. But before I do that, let's go back and let's click right on the Leads app again, because it's going to take us back to that main view that was empty before. So you'll see, now my record is in here. I have the company and organization, the name of the contact, and all the other information I entered. Now, we've only got one record, but as we add more records, they will be listed here as well. And later on in this video series, I'm going to show you how you can filter through these records, how you can search through these records, and how you can change the view that you view these records in. So that's how you can add data to an app that you've installed here in Podio.